up than I am right now. He's not very calm under pressure. Okay. I'm being calm. Um, but I was feeling very swollen and just kind of blah and yucky. So I went ahead and checked my blood pressure with my at-home monitor and it was pretty high. So we went into a Rite Aid um, just to check it again and it was even higher. It was like 155 over 109, 158 over 107. So pretty high scary numbers, um, super swollen. I went ahead and called my mid midwife. She said I should go into the hospital. Um, she called the doctor on call to let them know that I'm coming over and is sending all of my um, charts over. So they'll do they'll do a like a full lab, uh, do like blood work and stuff to check for preeclampsia, monitor my blood pressure. I'm assuming they'll do a non-stress test on the baby. Why do they call it a non-stress test? Because you don't want the baby to be stressed. No, it's not a stress test. Yeah, they call it an NST to make sure the baby's not in stress, distress. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe an ultrasound. I don't know what they'll do, but she said to go in with the possibility of not leaving. Um, they might want to induce, depending on what my blood pressure does, uh, what my labs are like. They'll check for dilation, see how close and ready I am for birth. And so we don't really know what's going to happen. We're just kind of going in. This is obviously not how we planned it. Um, no, it's like we planned so much for a certain kind. And it would but be... I, you know, I knew this was always a possibility. That's why I educated myself on, you know, every type of birth. So that if this happened, I wouldn't be completely panicked. I would know a little bit of what's going on. Um, and it wouldn't be an immediate C-section. They would do an induction, which... Obviously, it's just about making sure the baby's okay, making sure I'm okay, so we will see what happens. We are on our way now.